The United States has by far the most relaxed gun laws in the developed worlds. The United States also has by far the most mass shootings and deaths as a result of gun crime among all developed countries. It is therefore perfectly obvious to anyone with even an ounce of common sense that the solution here is to regulate the arms trade more strictly like the rest of the developed worlds and possibly even ban guns altogether. However, President Donald Trump and the rest of the crony Republicans who somehow still run the United States government cannot hear the sound of that basic logic over the sound of all that raw cash pouring into their bank accounts from the NRA and various other gun lobbies which portray themselves as fighting for rights and freedoms for ordinary people, but really just want to carry on making as much money as possible from selling guns. That is why we are in the totally ridiculous situation where the President of the United States and leader of the free world is seriously and repeatedly suggesting that the solution to this problem is not less but more guns. He has claimed time and time again that the way to tackle school shootings is to bung a whole load more deadly weapons in schools up and down the country. And his latest defense of this argument is possibly the most ridiculous yet. Here is what Donald Trump said to news reporters on the issue of gun rights recently. Unless we have an offensive capability, it's going to happen again and again. You can't hire enough security guards. These would be people that actually would want them. And it would be a small percentage, but it would be a lot of people. And once you do this, you will have a situation where all of a sudden this horrible plague will stop. I want my schools protected just like I want my banks protected. 